Wrestling fans, welcome to the May edition of the MWF Superstar Zone. I am Dan Marotti. Interesting month here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation, as always, with so many action-packed live events coming up, along with a superstar interaction with the WWE's Teddy Long, Saturday, June the 22nd, in Fairhaven, Massachusetts, as we attempt to raise money for OneFunBoston.org. Fans will have the opportunity to meet and greet with Teddy, along with a huge raffle, thanks to our good friends at WWE. But... Loser leaves town. John Cena, Sleesner, and I in this very building went tit for tat last month. We put careers on the line. I chose diehard Eddie Edwards to represent the Millennium Wrestling Federation. John Cena Sr., however, chose Julian Starr, an individual who had a serious back injury at the time, but he put him in the lion's den, so to speak. Eddie Edwards came away with the victory. Julian Starr can no longer wrestle in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. Thinking back to that great night in Everett a few days after Christmas when he gave me the 450 splash, my heart is absolutely broken about that, that Julian has hit the unemployment line. But Cena has his ways with certain members of the Millennium Wrestling Federation office behind the scenes, and he has chosen to make this program tonight a tribute to Julian by showing some of his greatest matches and feats here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation, some of his biggest wins is a farewell, so to speak. So, without further ado, we're going to take it back to the MWF archives, the career of Julian Starr in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. I know what it is. Sometimes you got to push through all your obstacles, not me. No matter what the obstacle builds uprising. What are you or talking Paul about? trifecta of terror. Oh, oh I, you're a big fan of those guys, aren't you? I've had my issues with Dylan Cage going a long, long, long time. Boot, caught by the boot. Nice, look at the way Julian Stug gets out of that. Reed with a boot of his own and again. Imano, Imano. Thought that was gonna be a crucifix there, no. Wow, look at that Japanese arm drag. This is what it's all about, competition at its finest here in the MWF to kick off the new year. Oh, man. Big boot to the face from a man with a big heart. He might not be Andre the Giant size, but when he gets in there to compete, he gives it 120% every time out. Well, I really want to get into you with this with this Dylan Cage issue. I, I don't know what the problem is with the man. Well, just go to the BostonMessing.com super site. What was that? Another kick to the head. American version of a Samoan drop. I, I just don't get it. You know, Kicked him in the face. Dylan Cage, how to go? We need to talk about Dylan oh, Cage. Come on. Some of the things he said, he deserves to get throat cancer and die. Wow, that's pretty harsh. Well, it's from the heart. Suplex and down. Reed with a pin too early for that. Surprised he even got a two off that. I would think that both of these men would want to cut off one, either one of their legs. I mean, if they can't fly, if they can't flip, if they can't jump off the top rope, I mean, it really limits what they can do in the ring. I don't think either one of these gentlemen could be called a mat technician, so to speak. Hey, wow. Would well, you see the impact on that? With authority, as we said, Reed might not be the biggest, but with what he has, he does everything he can with. And I'm sure that at the very least knocked the oxygen out of Julian Starr. Well, right there, he's on rubbery knees, so yeah. to speak. It's rare that you see two counts this early in the match. Big shot by Reed. I still can't believe what you just said about, about Dylan Cage like that. I can't believe it. Yeah. I'm not worried about Dylan Cage right now. We've seen the end of him. Look at that. Double oh. axe handle to a pin. I've never seen that. Could have done a lot of damage to Scott Reed's neck the way he landed. And I, don't, I think Julian Starr's a little worse for wear, too. It could, could have landed right in his ribs. We're real early into this match, and these guys are hurting. Oh! Big time uppercut. And 20 minute time limit in this match, fans, if it does not end. But that Jim Brunzel like drop kick, too. That could be it. Make it two and a half. This match does not end. 
You can go to bostonwrestling.com for online overtime. Yeah, as per the great President Cena. Yeah, he comes up with a good idea once or twice a year. Crowd getting behind who? I just think they're loving the action right now. They love them both. Oh, man. Wow, big time DDT. The middle rope, that could be it right there. Spelling trouble for Julian Starr, two and a half right again. I gotta say, I love Julian Starr's trunks. Why? Shades of the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Circa 1985, maybe. Reed sets him up off the ropes again. Star holds on to the ropes up and over Scott Reed Wow, goes. that could have been real bad. Yeah, he was, I thought he was going to skin the cat there. He didn't even need to. Two big forearm shots. Reed in. Wow. Wow. Spin kick as he went for something off the top rope. Two and three quarters right there. And you know what? You might have called that one an upset. Scott Reed certainly has the experience advantage. He's Julian. come away with some big time wins here in the MWF. Like I said, he almost won the championship back in 2009. What is this? Big high risk here. Oh! Ooh, and he used that veteran-like experience right there just to tap the rope and knock Julian Starr off balance. Yes, Julian Starr, the newest member of the MWF choir, chopped to the back. And now, could be setting up for a superplex. If what we saw to begin this matchup, I wouldn't throw anything out the window. Julian Starr trying to do everything he can to fight out of it. So oh. do, slammed him from the middle row. You see the ease he picked him up with? That's a strong, strong man right there. Julian Starr. Whoa! Whoa! That's it. Unbelievable! That's it. Flawless and perfect. Julian Stark comes away with a huge win. Here to kick off 2011 here on MWF Extra. That is worth seeing again. To perfection. Wow. I've never seen Julian Stark hit that 450 splash with such perfection. That was one hell of a brief. It's cold outside, I just sleep. Got here late, like just to leave. Wings on my shirt, and I cannot fly. Asked to one level, but I cannot lie. Open up the door, like can I ride? Heart made of stone, I cannot cry. Hand on the glass, I can feel the rain. You don't wanna fight, not feel your pain. But I gotta go hard, gotta go far. That don't mean that we gotta fall apart. I'ma stand tall for all of us. Cause fade on the phone and he calling us. We came from the ground and we calling up. You can feel it in your fist when you ball it up. Clothesline. Better pinfall attempt right there, but still not enough to put away Julian Star. But a close two count. Grabs that chin lock, trying to wear down Julian. Trying to cut off that oxygen supply, slow him down a little bit. Do you think that some of Julian's out of the ring exploits have taken its, their toll on him? Well, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I've, I've heard some rumors of things that may have gone on, may have happened, even some pictures, but. I know none of that. Pictures. I know none of that could have been good for his health. Well, to say the least. It's like Julian trying to get to his feet here, trying to work out of this hold, fight up from this hold. I mean, he's someone that the fans want to get behind, but again, he's going to come away with a couple of W's. Well, he sure does. Same thing with Bobby Ocean. He's looked impressive just about every time we've seen him, but another one that needs, that's come within inches of trying to get a shot at the television title. Move up the ranks, but in the end, it comes out as a loss. And in the end, no matter how good you look in the ring, it's about the wins and the losses. Another drag there from Julian. Breaking that hold. Grabs the tights, out of the ring goes Bobby Ocean. Back to the apron now. 
Big hard shoulder to the gut. Right there, sunset flip. Roll through, drop kick by Julian Stein. Nice cover from Julian. Not, not enough to put away Bobby Ocean. I'll ask you this, Todd. At Soul Survivor 8, were you worried about what position you were going to be placed in when drawing your number, unbeknownst to the other superstars in the match? Well, I, I was able to be a, a very late entrant, late addition to the match. I was able to just kind of sneak right under the radar, and I was very lucky the position I got. Obviously, I'm not ready yet to compete in the ring at a, at a full scale, but the way I came in to Survivor was the way I had to do it to, to get a W. Well, how do you think you would have fared, per se, if Bobby Ocean was the last man in the match instead of Frankie Arion? I don't think it matters who was the last man. It was going to be me to win the whole thing. It was going to be Hanson kick all the way. Yeah. Oh, well. Oof. Wow, that was a... It's a hefty knee. Quite the knee to the face. Julian has that cravat on. Twisting that neck. What a hard knee that was. Yeah, that was. It, right now, he's not really try cutting off the oxygen supply, just trying to wrench away on that neck. Smart wrestling right there from Bobby Ocean with the roll-up. Not enough, but right there again. Really smart maneuver from Bobby Ocean. Was that a three? No. Ocean again. They're going back and forth with the pinfall attempts. Who is going to come out with the win? Neither man as of yet going to go for a backslide. I think Stow will wind up right in the ropes. I don't know. Who would be the more powerful? Sunset flip. Not a sunset flip. What, small small package. package. What a great play-by-play -play man you are. Small package from the shaft. Now they're going back and forth trading blows. Julian down to a knee. Comes back up. Hard right hand. Oof, and another one. Over an uppercut that time. Julian Starr refuses to go down, though. Bouncing off the rope like a ping pong. But now Bobby Ocean isn't even giving him enough time with those rights. Playing a little rope-a-dope with Julian Starr. Off the ropes he goes. Another knee! Julian really utilizing his knees in this match. One, two, and... Well, maybe he had some old bottles of Layfield Energy left over he took before the matchup because... No matter what Bobby Ocean does, Julian Starr is finding a way to recoup relatively easily. Some of those knees have been very impressive from Julian. Picking Bobby Ocean off the mat, just give him a forearm. Not the best stra strategy. You pin the guy on the mat, whips him off, kick up. Scooping a slip up and down. Is that a waist lock takeover? Almost looked like an amateur type takeover. Only a two count. Both of these men, you can tell frustration has set in. Both men, they're looking to come away with a win, and it ain't happening so far. That's why it's the king of sports in New England, fans. Ooh. You know, sometimes when Bobby Ocean runs, it looks like it's in fast forward. He must have the speed of no tomorrow. I'd love to see him play baseball or basketball or football or something because it just it almost doesn't look real the way he runs so fast. It's like something out of a video game. And that is also to his advantage. He's not so fast right there. No, not climbing the ropes. What are we going to see here? Look at that. Could this be it? No, Bobby Ocean just out. Didn't get a hold of that hook of the leg as well as he wanted to. You can see Bobby Ocean's leg coming free at the last second. That's a, like a, a running Samoan drop. Instead of dropping one in New Jersey. But again, that's a different story for a different time. Another pickup for the forearm. Not the best strategy. Julian has to beat Bobby Ocean. Where? On the mat. He keeps picking him back up. I would say his best strategy would be to try and slow Bobby Ocean down. He's not moving at Bo Douglas. Speed! Unbelievable! Belly to belly overhead suplex. Threw him, not going for a, a, a pinfall. The fans are getting one hell of a match on Cyberstars this month. Shades of Kerry Von Erich right there. 
but he gets a reverse thrust kick to the midsection. Off the middle rope, up to the top. Julian is no. Oh, wait a minute. No, Bobby Ocean. Julian going for that moonsault we've seen before, but... He better hope that Ocean doesn't try that. Oh, wait a minute. Got him hooked. Well, he's going for a German, maybe? Oh, Julian Star elbows his way out of it. He's going to go for that moonsault. Sure seen is. it many times. No, wait a minute. Oh, my dear Lord, Todd Hansen. Stick a fork in Julian Star. He is done. No, wait just a minute. Wow. Wow. That was about 2 and 15 sixteenths. I don't think Ocean could have come any closer to a win. I mean, Julian Star must have been a good 30 feet in the air. I wouldn't say 30, but he was up there. You're talking about the height of the ring, the height of the ropes? 25, 30 feet. Julian Star's about six feet himself. Another snap suplex. That's highlight real material from Bobby Ocean looking to kick off his post-2008 campaign under the watchful eye of President Bear with a big time win. Superstars all over the place. Oh, he missed the headbutt off of the top. Must have been studying old Holly race tapes. DDD from Julian. Oh, wait a minute. We've seen this many a times, Todd. So he's going for the 450. If he hits it. Woo! Beautiful execution. That is it. Well, we said Julian needed to come away with a win. And indeed, he got the W that he needed. Todd, another, the man that won the first in it to win a gauntlet at Soul Survivor 6 that really started his career off on a positive note in the MWF. 450 splash. We even measured it with the ruler, folks. It didn't even hit 451. It was a thing of beauty. Absolutely amazing maneuver from Julian Star. We said he needs something lit underneath of him, some fire inside of him, and let's hope that that helps ignite him. Well, I think everyone in the MWF right now is going to or needs to up their game with Paul Bear running the show up here in the north. Would you agree with that? I guess I do. Does it is it lit a fire under you now that you know that someone with the experience and the knowledge and the success of Paul Bear, he has the fate of everyone in his evil hands. The fire under me for Dylan Cage. Uh, and who knows what that dynamic is going to be like now. I mean, obviously Paul Bear can't be out there managing people if he's the president. What's going to happen with the trifecta of Terra? Well, a lot of things are going to unfold. And the ocean is trying to call Julian, it looks like, back to the ring. You know, is Bear going to try and run things behind the scenes like a mob boss with Cage and the tag team champions Rick Fuller and Brian Malonis? Look at that. That's sportsmanship at its finest. Well, Bobby Ocean knows he came close, but Julian was the better man tonight on Cyberstars. What a matchup, fans. We're going to be talking to Soul Survivor 8 in just a few moments. Right there, too hungry. Oh, wow. A lot of wrestlers should have that attitude. Now, and then you have someone like Julian going on Facebook and making an idiot out of himself. You know, the current generation, which, you know, I, you know I am not the, the biggest fan of. Nonetheless, he's an impressive athlete. As John Walters again escapes trouble. Some great moves there. And back and forth. And look oh, at definitely that. Definitely back and forth wrestling going on here. See, they're still feeling each other out. Still very early in the matchup. I mean, we have plenty of matches to add to this program, Jacob, but this could take up the entire half an hour. Oh, easily. 
On the Superstar Zone this month, I will once again be joined by President Bear. That's always a treat. Indeed it is. We have a big Christmas special coming up on Christmas Day. Road to the Gold, Saturday, December the 29th from the Everett Rec Center in Everett, Massachusetts. That's Got a big day. Carlito returns, the Boogeyman returns, a 12-man competition to see who will be in the main event at Soul Survivor 9. Look at Walter, smart wrestling and a beautiful drop kick right there. A thinking man's wrestler. He's definitely thinking. Oh, he's got to nail him. Now, put, oh. Put, oh! Put that on Facebook. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Put that on Twitter. Oh, I can think Lighten of... Lighten him up. I can think of so many athletes I'd like to see in the ring right now just having John Walters give a professional wrestling lesson to. I mean, he has Two made... Flex. He's made mainstream news around the country, Jack. In USA Today, uh, Fox News, with some of his thoughts on immigration policies. He's a very intelligent human being outside of the auspices of professional wrestling, and we're always happy to see him in our rings. Yes, we are. Sets him up into the post. Walters up and over again. Right Ooh. there. That shows as much quote unquote sizzle as Julian Starr brings to the plate. He can be a very, very dangerous athlete when he puts everything together. It's a matter of can being a part of the uprising get his head in the game where it needs to be. Time will tell. They definitely wanted him though. They spent the money, but Walter's right there. His foot is on the ropes. Referee luckily paying attention. Everybody wants a spot in that competition on December the 29th. Only 12 were able to earn their way in. I think it's much better than a battle royal type match, as you see with the Royal Rumble every year. 12 men in six singles matches, Jackal. Then a sudden death competition. One winner, one spot in that main event. Look at Julian Stiles showboat. Getting cocky there. He should be all over John Walters because John Walters would be all over him. You're that, right. That's not only dumb, it's a slap in the face to Walters. He has too much talent to be left laying on the mat when he could have possibly put him away. So and he, he ended up only getting a two count. Sit there and shake his ass and put it on Facebook. Suplex, no. Small package. What? Tell now. Couldn't get him. But again, you got to give it to Julian. Right up with that clothesline. And he showboats. Why isn't he all over John Walters? I do not understand. Wow, a kick. Is he taking Walters lightly? I mean, is he insane? I, you know, for someone that was so angry when he lost to the superstar of Sin, Scott Reed, at Soul Survivor 8, you know, you would have thought that was a lesson. I, 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 I don't know. Drop kick. Shades of Jim Brunzel on that one. And again, parades around the ring. He's not going to earn many fans with that cocky no. attitude. But he's an excellent professional wrestler. I have to give credit where credit is due. Personally, I seem to like him less and less by the week. But when that bell rings, he's finding success. And Barely a two count on that one. Barely. Working away on the shoulder of John Walters. Referee Dan Tanaka right in there. I don't think we would certainly see a submission at this point in the match. No. Least. Well, President Bear promised a new day here in the Millennium Wrestling Federation. It's been action galore since he took over as president. He's shaking things up. He really is, and there's more to come. Would you have thought that we were going to have Road to the Gold December the 29th? Absolutely not. I know I didn't. President Barrett means business. 
looks like Julian Starr means business, trying to rip I know. the left arm off of John Walter's body. Now he's wrestling with a little precision. He continues to attack that one body part. Another two count. It's going to make it very difficult for John Walters to use some of his more dangerous moves if he only has one arm. Sits him on the top turnbuckle. He's going up. We could have a superplex here. And he's wasting time. And I think Walters is trying to block it. He does. Big time crossbar. Iron reverse. Reverse. Two. Three. Oh. No. If the referee was in position, that could have been it. It could have been. Double clothesline from Walters and Starr with impact. And they're both down. That was not shades of Bo Douglas and Jerry Seavey from last October. I oh. will say that much. Oh, my goodness. I remember that one. You had fun with that. Did I ever need you that night? <laughs> I heard you thought about retiring after that one. My eyes did. Rest putting on a count. They have 10 to get up. Only one has to get up. These are two athletes in their prime, Jackal, in tremendous athletic condition. This isn't candy store wrestling. This isn't a middle school talent show. John Walters is regarded as one of the best around the world. Impact clothesline. Another Taking one. Two. Right hand. He's got Julian rocking like when he was with Sonny. Sets him up, up and Back way drop. over. Everything he's doing is for a reason, yep. which is why he is going to be successful. Power driver, no. Power bomb, no. Star gets out of it. He goes off the ropes. Oh, look. Oh. What Nine. a maneuver. No. no, gets the left shoulder up. Well, I mean, there are sh signs of Julian Starr in this and every man. Did you say that was a sit-down spine buster? Uh, More or less. You're much, much better with the terminology Th than that's I That's what that looked like to me. Oh, I'll go with it. This is the action I love, Oh, Jack. counted it. Wait a oh. minute. Carlito, we your heart out on I that know. one. Maybe trying to send a message for Road to the Gold. Saturday, December the 29th in Everett. He could be. Oh, he's going upstairs. Well, I'll say this. Julian Stye is a very dangerous man upstairs. He's on the top rope now. I don't think Walters even realized. No, he has no idea. He will shortly. Oh, oh smart oh, wrestling. Oh, oh, oh. Smart wrestling. He moved. And he's, he's got, got him in the sub-corner. He's got it. He's going to fly. No. Too close to the ropes. Get the ropes. That's going to break the hole. Oh, what an ending to this encounter that would have been. That's the clothesline. He's going to do it again. He's got to get him, Jet. No. Oh. Nice reversal from Star. Walters holds on to the ropes. Look at that from Julian. Impact. Oh, no. Oh. Back and forth. Back and forth. That was close. What a way to end 2012. And the month is just starting, Jackal. Oh, what a I, win I, for Julian I can't Stark. believe it. An upset. Yeah, I was, you know, the 450 spa splash has been in his repertoire for so long. It just shows the training that's going on with the uprising right Joining now. Joining the uprising is a big plus for him. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. I certainly thought that this was going to be John Walter's match. The influence. Well, Julian Starr had a frustrating beginning to the year. He had his issues with Scott Reed. He had some 